Did I get your attention? Let's put him right back. There you go, Mr. Vader. Yeah, his head's his head's wobbly. Dingle, dingle, dingle. Welcome back. We have another delicious non-alcoholic beer for you. Maybe it's delicious. I need to come up with a rating system. I think in the first video I called them like flubers or something. That's not a word. It doesn't apply. That's okay. Today we have another pick from Bravis Brewing. Ooh, Bravis Brewing. Orange Vanilla Cream Ale. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, that's so delicious sounding. Uh, it really is though. Like This is more up the alley of, if you watched the last video, which, pause right now if you haven't, because the end of this video directly ties into the last video. So that's what I would recommend. But when I was talking about the Bravis Blonde, I talked about how they don't have any fun names anymore. The non-alcoholic beers are just called what they are ipa blonde amber stout but i do like uh orange vanilla cream ale still just what it is but you know at least it's not just like i guess i guess it is okay you know what fine we're gonna write bravis and see if they'll call it flugel snake flugel snake oh that's that orange cream ale see so this is Bravis Brewing out of California. If you follow along with my podcast friend request, you already know you can get 10% off any Bravis Brewing purchase. It's in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see what this orange vanilla cream ale looks like. Oh, exactly like you would expect. And you know, what? I'm going to get a little... We'll head on it, too. We'll see how that pans out. You know, cream ales are funny, and I think... I don't know the methodology behind it. Uh, I assume, like any other beer, there is certain standards. Uh, but I, as to what kind... You know, if it's a cream ale, it has to be brewed somewhat like this. But I've also heard that it's up to the brewer and whether or not you call something a porter or a stout. Like, the deciding factor is just, like, whatever the brewer says. I don't think I like that. So I don't know if there's a way or like a specific way that people brew cream ale. I'm curious if there's like a lactose in ingredient. Um, and I can tell you right looking from the side of this, there isn't. Um, now that I've read the ingredients, let's play. Oh. I don't get the orange. Well, I mean, I get the orange. I get, but it like candy. It smells like candy. It tastes a little like candy. I definitely get the orange cream and not separate. They are together. Uh, you know, it's got that orange creamsicle picture on the front. Flip. And I, the flavor, I feel like, is more reminiscent of... If you were to deconstruct that, mix it all together, um, and use that, you don't get, the, there's not a separation there, which I don't, I mean, I don't know why there would be. And again, you know, I don't know if I'm picking the flavor wrong, but like they're blonde, there is, a, and I imagine there's a blonde base in this, and then they add the orange cream vanilla uh there's a bit of maltiness that doesn't hit me right but i'll tell you it says water barley orange peel extract vanilla extract honey hops and yeast uh oh, the honey that's what i'm getting there there's the there's a sweetness like a candy that i couldn't pick out and it's that's the honey It's good. But if you watched my last video, I saved about yay amount of Bravis's Blonde Ale. Let me see if I can fetch that can. Oh, typically we recycle. Um, 
so here we have Bravis Blonde and Orange Cream Ale. If you watched the last video, you know that I have half of this blonde left over. Plink, like that. That's how they go. You can't see that. All right, there. So, what I like to do with these, so blonde, think kind of like a blue moon, right? What do you do with a blue moon? Throw an orange slice on there. Well, what the hell's this? It's already got orange in it. So then you just go floop. Look at that. Now you have a super beer. Highly recommend these mugs. They cost more than my mortgage and they're available at Crate and Barrel. And I love it. I don't know why. I got a six pack of each of these. These are the last two. I drank one of each of them separately and I was like, okay. And the next four I drank from each six pack combined, uh, like just like this. And I think that's where the balance is. It's good. It's really good. Uh, I drank them outside. It was 80 degrees. My mother came over for my birthday. It was delicious. Uh, I was looking forward to the next one. Uh, so I guess they aren't, maybe they aren't as heavy as I think they are. But when, because the the two flavors complement each other so well. Delightful. So check the comments if you want to try Bravis. Uh, I got 10% off there. But um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I had to go play with my action figures. So I'll talk to you later, I guess. Okay, bye.